Hey guys, Franco here again. Um, I kind of just want to let y'all know what it is that I'm doing personally to study for the Comptia A+. So, if we go back here. For videos, I, uh, I think if you can afford it, uh, especially if you use one of the discount codes that are out there, I highly recommend that you use IT Pro TV because man uh, I had used like a promo code to get a discount for the premium membership which comes with virtual labs and practice tests so I'm not I can't show it but I, like here there's like I can there's practice tests and flashcards for the CompTIA plus and then for CompTIA uh, 1102 core 2 there's also a virtual lab that I can use so if you can afford it the videos are really like easy to sit through. It's not super boring. I tried Messrs videos. Me personally, I could not do Messrs videos, uh, even though they are free. And I kind of just wanted to get this because, uh, for my goals long term, it was a more cost efficient option to just have a subscription to this service than to you know, I don't know, uh, like do free videos on YouTube and then like buy their notes and stuff and buy courses. I just would rather do this uh, and self-study on my own time. Then um, I do this, right? And I think you should do the same thing. So it's, uh, what I'm doing is Josh Matikor's method, which is you watch the videos and understand the concepts and then you also take notes. So I'm taking notes on all the videos. What I like about these two is that it gives you the like exam objectives, you know, what it is that you have to know and get out of the video. So aside from watching these videos, um, one thing I love to use is uh, Anki. So we're going to go there real quick. So in Anki, the way it works is it, um, I forget the, it uses some type of memory thing like a uh, psychological thing so that when it, it like sets it's sets up the flashcards in a way so that you'll remember them long term not just short term um so i'm doing this too but for those people that don't want to download on key it is free though i'll link it down below but i definitely i 100 percent recommend on key um you can i'll link this down below but you can go here and read it uh, and it's this lady by the name of Miranda, right? This was her method. She watched Master's videos. This is the same as Josh Matikor, almost. Uh, but yeah, she would watch the videos, blah, blah, blah. She, did, she made a 724, so she passed core one first try, and she passed core two first try. And I'll give credit to her, her Quizlets. So for those people out there that like to use Quizlet, right? Free resource. Anki is also free. Um, you can go in here and uh, use our Quizlets. Now, what I'm personally gonna be doing is I'm gonna take all of the flashcards that IT Pro TV has, and I'm going to import them all into Anki, right? So I'm gonna take the time out to do that. And I'll be also posting the uh, like a download file link down in the bottom so that those people that use Anki can use that because the, the flashcards on there are pretty, pretty, pretty tough. And I'll also be importing uh some of these i'll be importing some of these down into anki as well um for those that use anki and want to study them because there's a tool out there that can actually import uh anki f uh, flashcards i'll link that down below as well so as you can see here you import from quizlet the way the tool works is you just put in the quizlet url and uh if you want to change the name of the parent deck you can and it'll just upload it so you as you can see here I have company plus 1101 laptop display types that's actually from hers uh, where is it it's from here I don't know where it went though right here so it's the same as this one 13 terms as you can see it uh, imported all 13 terms also the DNS one so that's a cool little Anki tool if you guys didn't know about that uh, I'll link that down below as well. But yeah, I'm basically just following Josh Matikor's method. So, um, the way it goes is the method is, the first step is to watch the videos and take detailed notes. 
for the second step you take the practice exam yes it might you know be a little backwards to take the practice exam first before using the flashcards but the reason you want to do that is so that you can set up flashcards to what you lacked in the exam so you take notes first watch the videos and take notes step two you take a practice exam and based off your results in the practice exam you review with Anki flashcards and then uh, afterwards just review 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 and take the practice exam and once you're comfortable enough to take the company A plus just go and do it so yeah I just thought I'd put that out there for other people like me that are about to go into WGU or other people that are studying for the company A plus that is the route I am taking to uh, pass this exam on the first try for co both core one and core two um, but I also wanted to give some resources for people that are you know don't can't afford IT Pro TV or don't want to pay for IT Pro TV but I highly recommend that you do this is not a sponsor but I just from my personal review is like from having used the service so far it's absolutely amazing I mean they give you notes that you can write down um, included in the videos they tell you the exam objectives I mean there's a practice exam flashcards built in um it's it's it really is great so yeah I, re I definitely recommend it for anyone who, who can actually afford it or wants to pay for it but yeah those are just some strategies I'm using I hope I was of use 21 if you like the video please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one